today we're gonna step into the exotic world of canna lilies. We're gonna take a look at how to grow these these plants. And uh, these plants have bold foliage and brilliant flowers. And uh, these plants are what you use to bring a, a burst of color to any type of tropical garden. These are our Tropicana. And here's a, another video of our Maui Punch. And uh, uh, we'll talk a little bit about uh, where you plant your canna lilies. Uh, canna uh, like a lot of sun, so and they're very uh, heat tolerant. So uh, you can plant these in a sunny location, uh, especially if you're in northern states or uh, northern zone you want to plant them in full sun uh, you want to get at least six hours of direct sunlight each day and uh, so here we got it out in a pretty full sun location and uh, uh, as far as next topic as far as fertilizing your uh, canna uh, you want to put them in rich soil and uh, you can feed them with your compost or whatever when you start out the year and uh, if you want to put some fertilizer on them you can uh, go gently with fertilizer and put something like a slow release fertilizer I prefer something like uh, uh, some of the coated fertilizers like the Osmocote Outdoor is very popular that I like and uh, you can put anything that's a slow release fertilizer be good for these That way they'll uh, do really well for you. Uh, as far as watering, you want to keep the soil moist but not soaking wet uh, like most plants. And if you overwater them a lot, they can rot, but uh, uh, that's going to be hard to overwater much during the hot summer months. Generally, there are three different sizes of canna lily. There's the dwarf type, which uh, is like this Maui punch in the front here. And for planting location in your garden, you're gonna to wanna to put them kind of in the front of your garden or in places to uh, decorate around some of your larger plants. And you have the uh, regular size canna, which get like four to five feet tall usually and these you're going to put in kind of your prime locations in your garden uh, uh, still in uh, locations toward the front or whatever if you have some large plants and uh, here's a view of our lemon punch and that's a uh, kind of a normal size canna and there's also giant canna which uh, uh, can get very large and these canna uh, I'll show you a picture here can get uh, anywhere from eight feet and up uh, they can go I've had them go 12 feet more and uh, so that's kind of a idea of the sizes the, the larger canna you can use them as like a backdrop to your tropical garden or uh, use them even as like a uh, uh, screening plant to uh, uh, hide some of your uh, neighbors or whatever almost like a fence so uh, uh, that's some good ideas on what to do with uh, the different sizes and planting locations so for your blooms you want to uh, deadhead or trim your older bloom stalks and usually you can just take some trimmers and go in here and these older uh, blooms once they're spent you just go in here and cut these off and uh, that'll let your can of uh, bloom some more and uh, uh, look the best and uh, uh, that's all you need to do so how do you grow these plants let's take a look Canna lilies grow from rhizomes and not bulbs. And so uh, uh, you take these plants and you plant them in the spring. Once the 
Europe's red as frost has passed. And cannas, like a lot of tropical plants, prefer well-draining soil. And uh, uh, you're going to plant these when you plant them about four to six inches deep. And canna uh, uh, multiply quite easily, so you're going to want to put them about uh, most varieties about 10 to 12 inches apart. And uh, by the end of summer, you'll have uh, plenty of these plants to divide and so you won't have to worry about that. And as far as overwintering your canna, uh, first we'll take a look here. This is our pink starburst. But uh, if you're in zone 7 and up, uh, you won't have any problem overwintering your canna. Just leave them in the ground. If you're in zone six, uh, you can decide whether you want to dig them up or, or leave them. Or if you have a lot of them, you can try both methods. Dig up a few and leave some in the ground, see how they do. Uh, it's best to have them in a, like a microclimate by the house if you're in zone six. And even in zone five, there's been some people, if they're placed well and you get lucky, to have canna come back. So canna's pretty tough over the winter and they can come back in a lot of cases. Well, as far as pests on your uh, canna lily, there's really only one that's really a problem, and it's the uh, uh, canna leaf roller. And this is a moth that comes around and will lay eggs on your canna, and they'll make these tiny uh, caterpillars, which will, especially on the new leaves, will roll up the leaf, and I don't have a picture of one here, but a roll up the leaf and it'll be all spider webbed. And inside, if you cut that off, there'll be a caterpillar uh, eating on your uh, leaf and it'll prevent the canna from growing. It'll kind of be rolled up like this still with spider webs all around it. And the only thing that you can do that's the best for these, uh, and the most environmentally friendly is there's this uh, type of bacteria that you can spray on there uh, once a week or something when it's not gonna rain a lot. And you just take your hose in sprayer and I'll put it up on the screen cause it's hard to, hard to say, but uh, uh, it's right there, bacillus, I won't even try to say it on the, last part there but you can find them in different things they're a uh, caterpillar killer and uh, like I say you spray those about once a week and if you do find them on your canna you'll have to either cut those uh, leaves off and uh, uh, or try to kill the caterpillars if you see them and they'll start making these little holes across some of your leaves that'll be some signs that you have those and, uh, but that's how you take care of that. And that's one of your main problems. And here's a look at some of our giant canna. This is canna indica. These can get uh, eight to 12 feet tall, really large. These are grown mainly for the leaves. They have some little small red blooms on these leaves are get really large leaves can get up to two to three feet long so here's another view of one of our uh, Maui punch and we hope you like this video and uh, uh, we hope you like growing the canna lily and uh, we'll see you later.